Good afternoon. Thank you for being here. Um, obviously, with the shocking events today, uh, nothing could prepare you for what our family, uh, our community is going through. Many knew my father as, as a teacher and as a coach. I think the part that got overlooked and probably the thing he was most proud of is his involvement in the church. Uh, as he was a, the elder of the First Congregational Church in Parkersburg, a man of deep faith, who touched many's lives, not just on the football field, but the thing he talked about most was making people better young men, um, and also with all the students he had. So I think that's one thing, I guess, that as a family we'd really like to come out. Um, I know on behalf of my brother and I, uh, my wife, uh, all my dad's brothers and sisters, and my mom's brothers and sisters as well, our family thanks everyone for the thoughts, the prayers, the concern uh, for our family. Uh, we especially thank the people of Parkersburg for their undevotion to our family, all the overwhelming support during this tragedy, for the many phone calls and visits we've already received. Uh, in the midst of our grief, we are greatly appreciative of our friends and neighbors in, in the, the community of Parkersburg and the school of AP for all they've done for us. We also want to make sure we express our concern and our compassion for the Becker family. Um, we ask that people pray for them as well and that people take time to comfort and be with them through this as they are also going through a lot. Uh, my dad obviously has left a, a mark here. God always has a reason. At this time it's very tough for us to understand that. Um, but with the timing, uh, getting through the tornado, the things he was able to do here in the rebuilding process, um, with the many young people he's touched, the fellow faculty members he's touched, and the many coaches he's worked with, I know that my father's legacy, not only through those people, but through my brother, myself, my three boys, will live on. Uh, without a doubt, we're going to miss him. We will have many great memories to share uh, and to think back upon, as we were lucky to have the father that we had for the 58 years that he lived, and for me, the 30 years he was my father. I feel very fortunate to be the son of Ed Thomas. And uh, again, we, I, I ask specifically um, that you respect our privacy, um, especially that you not try to approach my mother for any comments out of respect to her. And as things go along, we will have more information and in other press related things later after our family can make the arrangements and, and set up things along those lines. But I, we do appreciate your understanding and your sympathy in this time. With that, I, I thank you for all you've done and for your coverage.